Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to combine video clips. So you may have a bunch of video clips that you want to put all together just to form one video, and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. And with that being said, let's get started. So the tool we're going to be using is called Veed, so we're going to head over to Google and we're going to search for Veed. So we're just going to Google V-E-E-D. And then once we've Googled Veed, we're just gonna click on the first link, which is create, edit, and share videos online. So we click on this link, and if you don't already have an account, you'll be prompted to create a new one for free. And if you do already have an account, we're just gonna click on new project. Once I've clicked on new project, I'm now in Veed's project editor, and this is where I'm going to start uploading the clips that I want to combine. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the upload button, and then I have this folder of three clips that I want to combine. I want to merge them all into one video. So I'm gonna start by choosing my first clip, and I'm just gonna open it and wait for it to be imported into Veed's timeline. If we take a look on the top right, we can actually see the progress of the upload. And then once this is finished uploading, this grayed out plus sign right here will no longer be grayed out and we'll be able to click on it to add another clip. So now that it's finished uploading, I'm just gonna click on the plus sign to add another video. And then again, select the second video that I want to combine and then again, wait for it to upload. And once this has finished, I'm going to add my third and final clip and click on open. And then this is also going to be imported into Veed's timeline. Now that I have all of the clips imported into my timeline, these three clips are actually playing back to back forming one video. So if I'm happy with just this, I can go ahead and click on the download button in the top right and Veed is gonna start rendering them. But there's a few options I can do to adjust my combined clips. For an example, if I just play it back real quick. All right. Okay, so this is a test. As we can see at the beginning, there's a little period where I don't talk. So I'm just going to adjust the playhead, put it about here. And then I can actually click and drag on any clip, either extremity of that clip to trim off the beginning or the end. So if I want to remove a little bit of the silence from the beginning of the clip, I'm just going to click and then drag it to about here and then drag this clip back to the beginning of the timeline. Now, again, if I wanted to trim off some of the end, I just move my playhead click and drag, and there we go. Now I need to remember to drag my clips to the end of the previous clip, so it plays through seamlessly, um, such as progress bars, clean order. Okay, and then again, I just make sure I drag my last clip, and once again, I can always just trim off the ends or the beginning, so I'm gonna trim there just to demonstrate it and then click and drag my clip. And there we have it. And there we have it. I can also do a bunch of things such as subtitle clips. I can also subtitle individual clips. I can go ahead and add text. I can go ahead and add some images. I can go ahead and add audio. I can upload music if I want to create background music. If I'm creating a video compilation, I can add all of my videos, switch off the audio for each individual clip and then add some background music or overlay the audio. I can do a bunch of different things. I can also change the canvas size. So if I'm posting this compilation or this, this video to, let's just say Instagram, I can actually format it to take the Instagram size. So now the entire video is within the square one by one Instagram aspect ratio. Once I'm happy, I just click on the download button in the top right, and then Veed is going to start to render my video. Then once it is finished rendering, I can download it straight to my computer or I can share it straight to social media. So if you have any questions about how to combine videos online, please let us know in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video or you found it helpful, please hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.